Stephen A gave us his top five NBA title contenders. Now that we're down the stretch, he has the Heat at five, followed by the Bucks and the Nets, the Suns and the Warriors. Big Perk back with us. Perk, talk to me about this list. Where did he go wrong? <clears throat> Number three, why are the Brooklyn Nets in that list, on that list? Look, here's the thing. The Brooklyn Nets right now are in the same exact situation, position, that the Los Angeles Lakers are, Stephen A. They are in the play-in tournament. We just got through talking about we don't even know if they're going to make the playoffs. We don't even know what's the status of Kevin Durant and his health. And you put them at the at the top five of your list, you're going to disrespect the 76ers like that? You're going to disrespect Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies like that, a team that got 40-plus wins? And you go sit up here and really justify what the Brooklyn Nets were on the what, 11 game losing streak? And you still got them there? But that's the New York in you. Because you're a Knicks fan, but like you said, you always going to rep New York. That's the New York. That's the bias stuff in you. That's the bias stuff in you. You can look at me all you want with them Beetlejuice eyes. You yeah. know I'm telling the truth. Where's well, your 18 well, years well, in Philly? Actually, Beetlejuice Beetle, Beetle doesn't apply to me. That's number one. <laughs> Why, That's you have big one. eyes, too. What are you talking I think about? So. I don't think so. I don't think you have <laughs> big eyes. Excuse me. I, su I suggest you watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you watch yourself. Why? But I'm, no, I'm just saying, <laughs> don't get me started, Molly. <laughs> All right. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. I have a big eyes. Yeah, okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal, y'all. Let me elaborate. And first of all, when you address me about basketball matters, the name is Stephen Naismith. <laughs> no, it is not Stephen Naismith. It's Stephen no, Naismith. You know what I'm That's do? what it I, is. I'm gonna, okay? No, I'm going to start calling you Stevie if you keep this up, okay? <laughs> well, you like know, other debaters no, 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 on the no, no, listen, I'm going to start listen, calling listen. you Stevie. My man, Gary Howard, my man Gary Howard calls me Stevie A all the time. No, it's cool. Stevie. It's cool, Stevie. Stevie's cool. <laughs> Stevie well, Met the, man. Met the man calls me Little Stevie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all love. And I'm proud of you, Matt. I'm proud of you, Power Ghost Book. Power Book Two Ghost. I mean, okay. Meth. I'm proud. Okay. Here's the deal. Let me stay. stay let me stay, let me stay focused. Let me stay focused. Let me explain to KP what my thinking was. First of all, top five NBA title threats. In other words, we're prognosticating who we think are going to be there in the end, not where they should be there right now. That was the number one for this list. Number two. I got the Warriors because I never jumped off the Warriors at number one. You know how I roll, even though Phoenix is no joke. CP3 getting hurt, being out six to eight weeks with the right thumb injury. Something to consider. The Nets are there because I believe that the Nets won the Philadelphia 76ers Brooklyn Nets trade. And I also remember the Nets being a top two seed in the Eastern Conference before Kevin Durant went down. I was told that Kevin Durant will be back any day now. All right, he'll be, back, he'll be back any day now. And so because of that, I said, okay, they struggling because KD ain't there, all right? Once KD get back, I'm not concerned. They ain't going to be in no play-in tournament, okay? They going to elevate. I promise you that. They ain't going to be no, no ninth or tenth seed or eighth or seventh and got to go through a play-in tournament. That ain't going to happen. Not with KD there. I don't believe that for one second. Here's where it gets tricky. And I want, in all seriousness, I want you to, to feel where I'm coming from here with Memphis. Memphis is no joke. I, we, we going down to Memphis because Memphis is special this year. John Morant and Bain and the crew. You know, I mean, those boys are no joke. I know that. But Golden State and Phoenix is still the favorite. So my point is, mm -hmm. even though I think Memphis would take out anybody, almost anybody in the East, in the West... They're a third seed. My thinking is they would run into one of those teams in a divisional playoff series, Perk, and they'd lose that round. And that's why I had them out of the top five. It wasn't to say that they're worse than anybody in the East, but I think the East is up for grabs. Even though we look at Milwaukee, right. even though we look at Philly, because Miami is a formidable threat to those teams in the Eastern Conference, I was viewing it as them having a better chance of getting to the finals out east in the east than Memphis had of getting out of the west. It wasn't to say that I thought Memphis was worse than Miami. I think the road they have to travel is tougher than the road Miami potentially will have to travel. And that's why I labeled Miami at number five and the Bucks at number four, Nets at number three, and I left Memphis yeah. out. 
Well, look, I, I have no problem with one, two, four, and five. Again, I'm going back to number three. And let me tell you something about the Memphis Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. When it comes to beating teams that have above a 500 record. They do it. They right there at the top. I they're think right they're at the top. I think they're number one. Okay, okay. but let me, let me break something down to you real quick, Stephen A. When it comes to the Brooklyn Nets, right, right now they're 31 and 29, okay? Yep. Their next game is against the Milwaukee Bucks. Then they have the Toronto Raptors, who's no joke. Then they have the Raptors again. Then they have the Miami Heat. And then they have the Boston Celtics. They have the Charlotte Hornets, the 76ers. Like, just think about this for a second. Remember when I told you earlier in the show, when I told you and Molly that the mm -hmm. playoffs has already started. Yeah. So every single game matters. So not only with KD coming back, I understand Brooklyn go have to turn up and they know how valuable Steve Nash was saying, the sense of urgency and all that, but the other teams know that as well. And those list of teams that I just pointed out to you are no joke. So the, the Brooklyn Nets could possibly fall Two or three games below 500. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.